If you paid attention to the wild world of streamers and internet personalities, then you've probably heard the name Izzy Prime. Controversy seems to click. I know folks. I don't know folks. Actually, I don't know folks at all. But motherfucking my homie know him for he be hanging around him and shit. And I didn't know who the fuck he was. I only found out about him because my homie actually know who this motherfucker is and he be hanging around him and shit. I didn't even know Buddy Ass was from Chicago till he told me like, yeah, folks say it's from Chicago. Huh? Damn, I didn't know that shit at all. But let's get into it. To this man like Lou, from sneak slapping YouTuber Jack Doherty to getting arrested on stream. And yet, what makes his recent crash out so crazy is the fact that everyone saw it coming. What? Anybody be first flash? I'm not riding the sweat, you, Sweater's left. Bro, I want to leave. What? I don't want to be here with these weak ass no, white sh- people. I don't want to be here with these. Sh- sh- Take me home tomorrow. The sweater, just left. I don't give a fuck about that fat. They ain't gonna cap, bro. His ass tweaking, doing all that shit, bro. Because you got to understand, bro. The white people, they're going to help you get that money on, bro. They're going to help you get that money on, gang. Ain't going to, ain't, ain't, ain't the reason my buddy famous is because Aiden Ross or some shit decided to fuck with him. He's a white boy. That's what I be saying, bro. I ain't going to capture you, man. If you're going to talk like that, you better make sure you don't need nobody, gang. I ain't going to capture you, bro. Because it's like, bro, that shit, you know, kind of weird. You gotta choke me out. I don't care. Y'all want this, right? I'm giving y'all content. What's what you looking at? You with the fat ass glasses. I'm outside. Come on. Come on. Uh, come on. I'll show you. Niggas like that be pissing me off. I ain't gonna count to you. You feel me? Like that shit right there. That shit blow me because it's like niggas be trying to do all that tough shit. And you know the thing is, lots of Chicago niggas, when they get out of state, they love to like do that overly tough shit. Like, bro, come on, bro. Cool the fuck up, bro. Niggas was never this tough in Chicago, but then now niggas just so tough. And I don't know, maybe he was tough in Chicago, you feel me? But I know lots of times niggas do that shit, you feel me? And even then, bro. Even if you was tough in Chicago gang, why the fuck is you doing that shit, bro? Nine times out of ten, you doing that shit to niggas you know ain't like that, bro. So you know, oh yeah, let me let me do it. You ain't gonna do that shit to the niggas that got the ski mask and shit on looking tough as hell. Like that's why I be like, bro, I don't be I don't like that shit. I can't take serious, bro. On gang, niggas do that shit. I'm if my homies be doing shit like that, bro. I'll be like, gang, cool the fuck out, bro. Or you could you, you could fight me, gang, since you wanna since you wanna try to Fight goofy niggas, bro. Fight me, gang. Just because I don't like that goofy shit, bro. I can't be around no niggas that do goofy shit like that, bro. Wow. Why are you talking to me? The red flags were already there. Sometimes it feels like Prime was begging for this moment. Known for his terrible laugh and loud antics. <laughs> Sounds like a damn car. <laughs> the man built a brand around causing chaos recently. But what blows my mind is how at one point, Prime was considered a decent dude in certain circles. He had Aiden Ross's back for the longest time, and that loyalty got him far. Like Aiden changing his life. Casa su casa, huh? Like, nigga. It's how you live, huh? Damn. It's how you live right now. Damn, you know? I've been here 10 years. I'm just waiting to leave you. Help change it. Save your life, bro. So I went out and fucked got you an apartment bro, for a year locked rent free <laughs> no on god i'm not even joking i swear my life promise your eyes are closed open this is this a tesla this man bro no no this ain't even no 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 i swear this is real no this is my friend bro this is your car and when he sneak slapped Jack Doherty last year, people cheered on him. Why? Because Jack is the kind of person who lives for controversy and thrives off of stirring up drama for the sake of clicks. So when Prime gave him a taste of his own medicine, the internet had his back. During 2021, Prime and Aiden were like the duo back then. 
But it all changed when Aiden slowly distanced himself from Prime. So on October 19th, the infamous night where everything truly fell apart for Prime was streamed live on Neon's Kick channel. Prime has been somewhat of a regular on Neon streams and he's been there primarily just for clip farms. It doesn't seem genuine with whatever they got. It's not like the Aiden and Prime duo. It's just two Aiden goons trying to figure something out in the streaming world. And it's kind of working, but at the same time, not really. The dynamics are just so off. So whatever Prime does, you know, Neon is like, yes, more views for me or some shit like that. I mean, even TMZ is getting clips of these guys. Yes, the same TMZ. TMZ that was the first to report about Michael Jackson's death in 09 is now focusing on this. What's going on? So you guys, uh, you got swatted this morning? What happened? Uh, yeah, so basically we were all in handcuffs, you know, there's a lot of people out to get us in this world, you know, it's a very, very, uh, messed up world we're in, so... We were all in handcuffs. I mean, like, come on, bro, what? Anyways, back to the infamous night. Prime seemed to have only one goal. We can see that SWAT, that SWAT and shit, bro. I ain't gonna cap to you. If you a nigga that do that SWAT and shit, you was a lame, bro. Like, you really is a lame-ass motherfucker. Because why is you doing that SWAT and shit, bro? Like, grow the fuck up, bro. And even when, like, even if you a kid, bro, I was never doing no goofy-ass shit like that as a kid, bro. Like, I ain't gonna capture you. My parents would beat the dog shit out of me for doing some clown-ass shit like that, bro. Like, whoever raised y'all, bro, to be doing that swatted shit, bro, whoever thought that shit was cool, bro, that shit is lame as hell, bro. I ain't gonna capture you, bro. Like, I don't know who the fuck came up with that fucking trend to think that shit was cool, but they had some goofies. Havoc. The guy went full chaos mode, bullying others, chasing them around, being racist. It was like he was trying to assert dominance in the most obnoxious way possible. But what might have once seemed like Prime being Prime was suddenly way too intense. So we're gonna watch these clips and see how bad this was. Disclaimer, there's a lot of bleeps and cuts on this. Man, how you is, I will knock you the out. Crushing out, bro. I am. How about that? I am. On my dead I don't give up. I do give up. I don't give up. I don't give up. I don't give up. I don't care. On my dead homies, you want to read a real? I don't give a. I don't care. Oh, what? Anybody be first class? I'm not riding. Sweater, sweater's left. What do you mean? It better be first class, nigga. Who the fuck are you? You see, niggas change their life around. Now they boo you, like niggas like that, bro. Like who the fuck? Get your own flight, nigga. But they doing it. I ain't gonna capture you, gang. If I was around them, bro. Niggas wanna be doing that shit, bro. Like if Neon was acting like a goofy, I'd let niggas get on their ass. But if you just trying to bug up with a nigga like Neon for no reason, bro. I'm gonna smack the fuck out of you, gang. Cause why are you doing that shit to a goofy? Neon is a goofy, bro. What the fuck? I'm telling you, you got treated do 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 that. Like you trying to act tough with a goofy for no reason. Like that's some goofy ass shit, bro. Like if he ain't doing shit to you, bro, what fuck is you doing all this shit for? That's some clown ass shit for sure. Uh, this is what Prime was talking about for reference. The sweater guy who choked him. For context of why that boy did that to Prime is because Prime ripped his shirt off. So uh, yeah, he got his lick back by choking him. I don't care. Y'all want this, right? I'm giving y'all content. What the fuck you looking at? You with the fat ass glasses. I'm outside. Come on. Come on. Uh, come on. I'll show you. Wow. Why are you talking to me? Yeah, I was talking to you. I'll your ass out. knock your ass out. You see how he bumping in? Like, folks is not like that. He's not. I know he's not like that at all. How he's doing, he's not like that. I can 100% tell. Niggas like this be the biggest bitches, bro. I can't hang around no niggas that act like that, bro. I ain't going to cap to you, bro. My home. And, uh, and my homies, bro, like, if my homies, if a nigga would have did this shit to any of my people, bro, they would have beat the dog shit out of that boy. Like, they would have beat the, but I could tell he don't even do shit that nigga. Like, all my homies, I, I ain't going to cap to you. Out of all my homies, I'm I'm like the sweetest looking motherfucker. Everybody else, you know, they, 
you know, I'm light skinned, so I look soft. They dark skinned, dreads and shit, bro. They he ain't gonna fuck with niggas like that. He gonna fuck with little white lame little, little niggas and shit that look like they like, bro. Cause I know for a fact he did that to someone that that that's one of my boy. He would have got his ass beat on that camera. Like he would have got the dog shit beat out of him and if he knew how to fight. And he beat my homie up. We would have jumped his ass, and he still got his ass beat on camera. So either way, he was gonna get his ass beat on camera, bro. So, but he know that shit. So that's why he fuck with the lame motherfuckers. Like niggas like that be bitches on gang. I ain't gonna lie to you. Come on, 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 what the fuck is going on? Like, bro, this, this, this I don't watch, I don't watch these shits, bro. I don't because I think most of these streamers be goofy. And now I see why I don't watch this shit, bro. Now I see why I don't watch these streamers. They do a clout and that shit like this. Like, what the fuck? This nigga is a straight Geechee. Ain't gonna cap to you. A Geechee for sure. A cornball. I ain't gonna catch you, bro. If I see him just doing that shit, so just motherfuckers. If I just see him doing that shit, bro, and he didn't even do it to me, bro, I'm gonna get on his ass because why is you doing this shit to niggas that's not like that, bro? Like, that's the shit. Nah, nah. If I take off my glasses, bro, I'm smacking the fuck out of a nigga. I don't wear my glasses in public. So I'm smacking the fuck out of a nigga regardless, bro. I just can't see right now, so I got to have my glasses on and shit. But I hate niggas like that, bro. Like, I can't meet this nigga. And if I did, bro, he better not be acting like this in front of me. Because I wish a nigga would tell me to come outside. I'm going to be the first nigga outside. I'm going to be outside before him. On game. What the fuck? I'm going to beat the shit out of that boy. And I don't care if he see this video, bro. You know, I say the shit because this is what I actually feel and mean, bro. Like, you doing goofy ass shit like this, bro. Like, what the fuck is your problem, bro? And, you know, I don't hold my tongue because I don't care about dick eating nobody, bro. I don't need to be around nobody. I don't need no streamer help. I don't need nobody to give me no Tesla. I don't need no none of that shit, bro. Really get this out the mud with my mind that without my mind that that help. Fuck is y'all talking about on game? Folks says it's the cornball that got a handout from a white boy. And now he disrespecting the white people. Fucking goofy. I'm not moving for no white people. So why you here? Bro, you see, that's why some niggas shouldn't get clout because they don't know how to act. They don't know. Fuck, they don't know how to act. Fuck is you harassing women for? Like, someone needs to smack the fucker. You see, but he doing this shit because he don't got no real niggas around. Because I ain't going to capture you. None of my homies will let a nigga do this. If I, if I was doing some shit like this, my homies would smack the fuck out of me. Why the fuck am I doing some goofy ass shit like this? You got to have homies that smack the fuck out of you for doing some goofy ass shit. Now, if they smack me, we most definitely going to be scrapping. But I'm going to understand why they smack me. And I'm going to be like, all right, bro. But you ain't just going to smack me because I'm doing goofy shit. For sure. That shit over with. But I'm going to understand after we get done fighting while you smack me. Okay. That's how it be. I think we can all agree that's very, very, very weird. Uh, let's keep watching, though. You bumped into me, did you not? You following us? I'm not moving for no white people. I'm not moving for no white person. 
Fergus is proud. You see, folks, that's not like that. He doing all this shit just to look tough, bro. Because he around, you know, when niggas around lame motherfuckers, they do this type of shit so they can look cool and tough around the lame motherfuckers. That's all. Like, 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 literally, just what the fuck he doing? behavior towards women was particularly concerning. He verbally assaulted one woman, threatening others, stepping on people's foots, and later harassed another woman in a casino, shoulder checking. It's insane, bro. You shut up. What's your problem? Why are you so what mad? What you do? Like, you wait, no, but no. why are you so, why are you so mad? Okay, I'll call somebody. Go give me my phone. <laughs> Bro is a goofy. Like, fuck is wrong with this nigga, bro? Cornball. The dog videos. All right, I got Prime was on a roll that night, but not in the way that anyone wants to be. For those who followed him, this wasn't surprising at all. The signs were all there. Prime had been a crash out for the longest time. How about when he tried to throw hands with Denali Chopper and his crew some years ago? Or the infamous clip where he almost got into it with Charleston White. I mean, look at Aiden. He doesn't even try and de escalate the situation. What's it all do then? What's it all do? No, even later. Aiden Ross got the fuck out the way. I'm going at this bitch on game. Well, I guess Izzy bugging up with other motherfuckers too. But he's still a goofy. At the end of the day, he's still a goofy for sure. Oh, gang. Whether he bugging up with any, like, bro, you doing all this shit for what? Someone just need to whoop his ass. Cliff Farmer. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention. This guy is a puppet monster, okay? Look at this clip right here, and you tell me. You be the judge. You on my dick, you thick as hell. Damn. I don't even get turn that off around. Let me see it. Damn. God damn. She just said she was 13, Brody. And you said it's cool. So this nigga is a goofy, a pedo, uh, a clown, a cornball, a geechee. His ass, everything that's not good, bro. Who, who the, why the fuck did Aiden Ross get this nigga famous? Why, who the, why the fuck you get him famous? Who the fuck, come on, bro. What the fuck is going on? Yeah. Oh my God, man, I don't do this real. I'm 13. Oh God. I'm going to the eighth grade. Yeah, 
After the chaos, Prime tried to salvage what he could by posting a half-assed apology on Twitter. In it, he blamed his behavior on depression and alcohol, pacing himself as a victim of these circumstances. Even in his delete. No, nigga. No, nigga. You talking about you a victim, nigga? Being a victim don't make you be a pedo. What the fuck? Like, I ain't gonna cap to you, man. A girl says she 13. I'm not finna be like, oh, she she just playing. No. Once she say that shit, you over with, shorty. Don't even play like that with me. Since you wanna play like that, you done. Fuck you talking about. In her case, she really 13. But I'm not trying to figure out if she playing or not. A girl says she underage. I'm not finna. Have a nice day, sweetheart. On gang, it ain't no more talking, none of that shit. You want none of that, bro. Ain't no more conversations. This nigga is a creep. The tweets he said, not playing victim. I said what I did was wrong, but don't act like I haven't been treated wrong either. So, like I said, I'm not racist. I don't care what y'all say. You can hate me all you want. I'm a C. What? What did he even say, bro? Typos, man. I'm a C grind mosh. I don't care. I don't know. But yeah. That's what he had to say. Those are those tweets right there that I'm putting up on the screen are deleted. Aiden reacted to this situation, kind of giving Prime the benefit of the doubt. It's it's really, really sad to me. I've known Prime for years, over 10 years, probably more than I've known anyone on this internet. I know the type of person he is. He's got a God, what the fuck? They talking about being reason. Drunk thug activities. Huh. Wow. You shouldn't be doing no shit like that. Like, these niggas be tweaking. Fuck is wrong with these streams? Um, and I'm not in trying to cop them out and shit like that, but, bro, like, at the end of the day, like, this sucks, bro. It sucks seeing this shit. It sucks him going around saying about white people. It sucks him going around just harassing people being drunk. And at the end of the day, bro, I tell you guys this, bro. This is somebody who cannot handle their alcohol. You know, Prime obviously probably feels really bad about it. I don't know how long he's banned for. You know what I mean? I have no idea how long he's banned for. I have no idea how long he's banned for. It's valid. Don't get me wrong. It's valid that he's banned. I mean, that's his man. What is he going to do? The thing with Prime is that he's an all-bark type of dude. He'll get in your face but won't really do anything. Or if he does, it'll be like a snake slap or a punch. This is the same dude who snitched to DDG about I shall speak. You just watch the clip. Did y'all see what you were wearing? That's the first I shall speed with these people anymore. So yeah, Prime has always been a wild card when it comes to content. Damn, so why he snitch? I mean, I ain't gonna capture you, gang. You shouldn't be doing no shit like that, bro. Folks that's doing that shit, I shall speed is supposed to be your people's gang because that's Aiden Ross people's. And Aiden Ross the nigga that, that, that gave you your fame, nigga. So let's be real now. You supposed to have loyalty to them niggas. But instead, yo ass wanna wanna do that shit because you damn near scared of DDG on game. It's a creation. Maybe social media isn't for him. Moral of the story. Don't drink knowing that you're gonna do stupid stuff. Alcohol brings the truth out of you or however it goes. I mean, I don't know. I don't drink. Uh I don't drink, but I drink. Motherfuckers be trying to get me to drink, man. I don't be liking to drink, but I can drink. I mean, there ain't really nothing. I just don't like how I feel the next day. Like, that should be, yeah, no. But drinking, like, I feel like I could do drugs and shit. You know, that shit. Because, shit, this who I really am. So, yeah, whatever y'all see off the drugs, you feel me? Like, I ain't going to be doing, like, I'll probably be funny. Probably be tweaking, saying some high shit. But you ain't gonna be seeing me rattling out, tweaking, trying to fight niggas, all that shit. Because I'm at the end of the day, the drugs ain't gonna make me be a goofy. 
on game. The drugs can never make me be a goofy. Because, you know, some motherfuckers are goofy. They got that goofy up in them. So the drugs going to make them be a goofy. Because if you don't got that goofy up in you, bro, you ain't going to be goofy. You'll probably do some dumb ass shit. But you ain't going to do no goofy ass shit, bro. Because what he doing? 